bought a house It had a backyard, some boring grass And lizards running wild I started making plans and digging lots of holes But then I turned on the TV And that's about the time that your backyard began We sewed it out of a green garbage can I went ahead and planted mango trees Bananas, even pigeon feet Now I share my whole life with you Bunny chickens too My forest grew and grew Subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Now let's get right into the video. Welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel, where I show you all kinds of permaculture practices, growing food and fruit in your backyard. We also have some bunnies and chickens, which we adore, and show you how they fit into the whole scheme well, if you like this kind of thing, why don't you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Don't be a lurker. Get in the game. All right, now we fly through the backyard neighborhoods of the local area, and what do we see? So as we dip down beneath the canopy of the forest, I think back at what this backyard used to look like when I first moved here and this would probably be a good time to reflect on that as we fly over it and look at what it has become. See here I am exercising the drone. Let's see we gotta launch this thing straight up. Then of course up 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 into the canopy it goes quickly escaping gravity of the situation. So what is the average house in the area doing in terms of utilizing the back of their living area for growing things? Well, it's mostly the use of ornate things, not much in the way of food production, whereas the model I've used is pretty much nothing but. If you look at this space, it is a rectangle that has tall growth around the perimeter with defined lanes of shade built in. The heights of the trees vary to allow sun to move around them as the day progresses, the angle of the sun changes. And you looked at my eastern side of my yard there where I protect the yard from salt spray. That is a common thing now. Much of what I have along that eastern perimeter is intended simply to stop the salt incursion. And for that, you need a very leathery leafed plant. I use the Dracaena, which is a great shrub-like plant that is great for that application. Very hardy grower. But then I've also layered in a bit of Barbados cherry along, if you look at the upper left-hand side of your screen, that's mostly Barbados cherry, a bit of papaya, which are very distinct in the shot there in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, you can see the very left side of the yard, or let's say north side of the yard in this picture, is consisting mostly of the animal care areas. So the chicken coop, the bunny run, the chickens, run actually extends along the whole southeastern northeastern corner of the yard there by the papaya and uh, that gives them great cover from predatory birds and the like which certainly are a possibility in their life now as we traverse into the lower part of the screen you'll see that the majority of that space is currently dominated by a gigantic Hayden mango tree which is awesome but it's way too big obviously look at how much of the space is being taken by that well I have a trimming scheduled for that which will greatly transform my yard and open up lots of new possibilities you can see here everything seems to be doing pretty well it's almost a little garden of Eden my vertical pineapple planter is glistening in the afternoon sun as you might expect 
trees in the shot there. They're also doing fairly well. I expect them to shoot up in growth in the spring. I just really need them to survive at this point, which is what they seem to be doing. We, we will see. You can see the grass is a bit bare. I've been augmenting with topsoil. That's a great practice. You can also do in your yard if you've got more of a sandy soil. Augment with topsoil. This whole area here has actually been filled in with topsoil and doing quite well now. A little generic fig to the right. We've got a Montingia strawberry tree. There's a tamarind to the right. And there's that gigantic, gigantic Hayden mango tree. The king of mangoes, some call it. And of course, the symbol to remind us where it is always happening is in the present moment. Let we, lest we forget that simple fact as we stare upon the beautiful chicken coop. Look at that thing. I love that chicken coop. That took me a little while to build. Oh, here come the hens. Here they come. Eager for an afternoon treat. We have most of the chickens there and they realized now that I was not my wife and I was holding a cam and that means they're probably not getting any treats but actually they should know better every once in a while they still get treats now this is piles of chop and drop which I've harvested from opening up this sunlight lane and we're taking a look here at the beautiful green Malay coconut tree which is a championship grower. I actually had a bit of a white fly ringworm infestation, which I solved with neem oil. And then, of course, the Cavendish banana grove you see in the foreground, background. It is doing pretty well. I am struggling to keep up with the watering of that. It's a pretty dry area of my yard intentionally. I don't like the salty irrigation to hit everything. But um, that's the one limiting factor for me is to keep those things watered adequately because they will just go kaput, they'll just fall over. I recently had one of those do that and I just simply folded it over onto the ground and let it become instant chop and drop and uh, a pup grew right out of the base. You can see in the background there my composting bins. That's a critical component of this. They never seem to fill up. Once they do, I suppose I will harvest the compost from them up into the wild blue yonder we go into our own personal gardening journey and I would like to encourage you now if you are not subscribed to the channel please click that subscribe button if you haven't given it a thumbs up pop that thumbs up also leave a comment let me know what you think of the backyard do you have similar things going on in your area are you moving towards that what do you think so thanks for watching eat your backyard get out there get into it plant more plant more often have a great day